Hi everyone, just wanted to do a quick video to show you that um, there is a way to get power turned on after you do the, um, the uh, quest to kill the raiders. Um, what I was reading was that you had to have a jetpack and get on top of the um, building. That's not true. There is a way to go through the building and get power turned on. So I will show you in this video. Um, I do not have the right equipment to do this and this is my first time doing a voice commentary without a um, good mic and all that so I hope it turns out. Bear with me if it doesn't. Um, we'll see how this goes. Um, I missed the first part. Um, you just basically go into the building and work your way up and you really can't get lost. There's a couple ways to go up um, once you see those big um, kind of generator looking things. Uh, you'll know you're in the right place. Just keep working your way up and you will see how to go about um, getting the power turned on without having to have a jet pack. You will run into um, quite a few little ghouls hanging out around here so hopefully you'll have um, some good weapons with you. Excuse my little um, hunting there. Oh, there's one right there. Hello. Tess usually takes care of those for me. She likes to ignite them. Watch them uh, explode into a ball of flame, which is a lot of fun for me. I like having her around. Guess I was thirsty, looking for a drink. <laughs> We're still working our way through, looking for whatever we can find. I'm a bit of a scavenger. I like picking stuff up. I do have tons and tons of um, stuff, which comes in handy when you go to do your settlement builds. Love those. Because I do have the Brotherhood quest where you have to make coolant and all that stuff for for money. But you can make a lot of money collecting technical documents and doing that um, coolant stuff for the Prudwin. So we're still working our way up. In case you don't know, um, and I don't have it in this video, there, spoiler alert, there is power armor hidden in this building also. I kind of stumbled across it. It's kind of hidden back in a corner in a, a locked area. It doesn't look, you know, anything that special, but it's here in case you're a power armor collector. I have a feeling something's going to pop out of that door when I'm not looking. There's some little ghouls hanging out. Let's give them a little surprise. Hello. Did you hear that? For once, I was able to aim. Hello. I knew he was going to do that. These guys are really tough in the world for some reason. And I'm a level 112. And they were still... Their health is amazing. See, even got tests. Well, I don't feel so bad. Ours all right. Guy's missing a leg. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> He's even more burnt now. Oh, his burns are disappearing. How odd. Self-healing ghoul. That was my phone. Oops. Figures you're recording. So this is the ladder. Um, I almost missed it when I walked out, but that is the ladder that you go up to to get to the room 
that has the power switch. Um, I walked in, didn't see it the first time, turned around, and I'm like, oh, wonder where that goes. And then I accidentally kind of go around looking. It's the hoarder in me going around collecting stuff. Then you have to go outside. That's actually not the room. I lied. Go outside and follow this pipe around. And you think, well, there's really nothing here. But, you know, stairs always go somewhere. And I really did not think you could get to it. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised that it's hidden back here in the corner. Because the videos I was watching, um, you had to have a jetpack to get up here, which I have, but I just thought I would explore and find my own way. I'm always thinking something's going to pop out and scare the crap out of me. And after you kill the raiders, um, that door magically becomes open. You don't even have to lockpick it. And there's the glorious button. Looking around again, because I am a hoarder. <laughs> I like to put stuff in my settlements, so sorry for me looking around. I also like to read everything there is, but I cut that out of this video so you wouldn't have to look at all that. And here we go. I'm going to turn power on, which I'm glad I did this at night because it really looks kind of awesome. And the building shook, which kind of freaked me out for a minute. And here we go. The little explosions all over the place. It's pretty cool. It really looks neat all lit up. Very cool. Got a bird's eye view from up here too. It's really neat. Now I can go ride all the rides. Thanks for watching. And check back with me.